Which is the better movie about the White House being taken over? We're about to find out. Welcome to Movie Time with Chris. And today, we are comparing two movies, because it's Saturday. And we are comparing White House Down to Olympus Has Fallen. So these two films came out the same year, 2013. Similar to how last week we talked about Friends with Benefits and No Strings Attached. Both came out in 2011, but were essentially the same movie. It happened again two years later in 2013, where we got White House Down and Olympus Has Fallen. So we are going to watch the trailers for both of these movies now. Five minutes, sir. Evening, ma'am. Merry Christmas, Mike. Mustang, this is Big Top, bringing out the full package. Where'd that come from? Everybody knows you did the right thing on that bridge. Even the president knows. You gotta learn how to get back into the real world. Mr. President, we're ready for you. Our guests have arrived. I'd like to welcome you to the White House, sir. Sir, there's been an intrusion. Let's go, move. Give me the Pentagon on the line now. Olympus is falling. Olympus is falling. Mr. Speaker, you are the acting president. I want to speak for the Russians, the Chinese, the British, and the French. In that order. If you attempt to retake this building, I will execute your commander in chief. Oh my God. We have contact from inside the White House. Identify yourself. 309. -er. Jesus, Banning? Same guy that was removed from the president's detail? He is ex special forces. 40 commandos breached the gate, 28 are left. Can we trust him? With all due respect, I'm the best hope you've got. Abort! Abort! We're talking about the safety of the president of the United States. We're talking about a hell of a lot more than that, sir. Just open the gates of hell. The United States of America doesn't negotiate with terrorists. Who said anything about negotiating? And now, the trailer for White House Down. Hey, can I show you something? These are White House passes. Your dad here has a job interview with the Secret Service. No way. <laughs> this is really cool. John Kale. Why do you want to be in the Secret Service? I can't think of a more important job than protecting the president. In college, you barely maintained a C average. <laughs> You're not to look at Agent Todd. <laughs> Special Agent Todd keeps making those sounds. I'm going to start looking at him. Did you get the job? Yeah, I think I got a shot. You know how it is. They gotta go talk amongst themselves. If you are just tuning in, we are going to breaking news out of Washington. This is John Cale. I'm in the White House. They've taken the building and they're holding hostages, including my daughter. Alpha One, do you have the target? Roger that. We're holding the president in the library. That's a library. Uh, don't go in there. Just. Oh, this is so stupid. You mean Mr. President? Go, 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 go. Let's just call SEAL Team 6 and they come in here to get us. We have a scramble sat phone in the residence. Great, where's that at? Of course it is. By the way, John Cale. Same story. Help is not coming. You just need to get out of there. My little girl is counting on me right now and I'm not going to disappear on her. 
explosive used at the Capitol was a diversion. There's got to be a bigger play. Like what? There's only one way to find out. I know you're into peace and all that, but you gotta stick that thing out there and go to work. Damn right. I lost the rocket launcher. You lost? How do you I lose lost. a rocket launcher? Get your hands off my joints! As you can see, these two movies are virtually identical. The president is in the White House. There is a group of insurgents that storm the White House and take it over, hold the president hostage in an attempt to get something from the government. Putting aside the... <laughs> um the non-accurate details to this movies, to these movies. Um, there's a lot of things that are not factual about it, which is good in case anyone's watching these and saying, that's how we're gonna take over the White House. Good luck with that. But <clears throat> I don't know, uh, I, Olympus Has Fallen was just a better movie. Now, Maybe it's because I'm not a huge Channing Tatum fan. Not that I don't like him. Um, I do like some of his movies. Magic Mike, but yes, that had Matthew McConaughey. So that's kind of a given. He had a brief appearance in This Is The End, and I really like This Is The End. 21 and 22 Jump Street. 21 was, I think, a little bit better, but he's in those and I enjoy them. So it's not that I don't like Channing Tatum. He just wasn't, I don't think he was right for this role. And there was a bit too much comedy in it for me, for something that's supposed to be like a serious action movie, suspenseful. There was a bit too much comedy that just didn't fit in with what they were portraying. Uh, you got your laughs, you got your Mr. Ha Ha's Hot Dog Hacienda moments, but it had Joey King. That, that's that's a plus, but I don't know. It just, I like Jamie Foxx. I do. Um, and him being the president, I think was showing, you know, having a down to earth person that we can relate to as president was fitting to what we had with Barack Obama. But it just, I don't know, it just wasn't as good. Um, you know, we've seen that whole thing where it's the, the head of the Secret Service detail for the president that kind of goes against him. We see stuff like that with Sentinel. We see stuff like that with uh, Air Force One. So it wasn't unique and the movie itself wasn't unique because we had seen it with Olympus Has Fallen which I think is the better of these two movies. Um, Gerard Butler is Gerard Butler. I don't see him as a Secret Service agent leading the presidential detail, but he can play that role, I think, better than Channing Tatum, who I get it, wasn't technically a Secret Service agent, but Gerard Butler sold the role better than Channing Tatum did. Um, Aaron Eckhart as the president. Typical of what we've seen in previous presidents. Um, you know, roles like Martin Sheen, uh, Bruce Greenwood. Aaron Eckhart kind of fit that role. So it was just more believable. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of humor in it. Uh, there were some kind of cheesy one-liners that fit in with what you expect from these movies. So I gotta, I gotta just say, Olympus Has Fallen, I think was the better of these two movies. 
but not that they're both bad. Because White House Down is an enjoyable film to watch. It's a good way to kind of just kill time, brain cells, and just enjoy something that you're watching. Where if you're not nitpicking like I do, you can really enjoy it. Uh, the comedic moments, you'd have to, again, I just, something about Channing Tatum playing that role just didn't sell it for me. I get it. He was a hot actor at the time and you gotta, you gotta jump on that. But I don't know. He just didn't sell it. Olympus has fallen, well-rounded movie all around. Um, and I mean, they made sequels to it. You had Olympus has fallen. And then when the president goes overseas for a conference, you get London has fallen. And then they try to jump on the whole Secret Service betraying the president with White House is down again, um, Sentinel, Air Force One, and try to have Gerard Butler being framed as the killer or being framed as the potential assassin. So obviously it did better. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't have made two sequels to it. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not assigning a whole lot of points here. I'm not really assigning points at all. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say Olympus Has Fallen is the better of these two films. Watch them just for pure enjoyment. Do not watch them to get ideas because you will fail. This is not how you take over the White House. <laughs> you will fail. But those are my thoughts. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if this video gets banned uh, just because of my topic. I had a video banned on Thursday, but I appealed it and YouTube said I was right. So if this one gets banned, watch it early. <laughs> but those are my thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, I'm on social media. You guys can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch. I have a blog and you can always reach out to me through email, movietimewithchris at gmail.com. But until next time, stay safe, take care, and God bless America.